I have a Samsung Galaxy A50 here, and I'm gonna show you two ways to do a factory reset, okay? One way is a soft reset, going to the actual OS, and the second way is a hard reset using the keys. Basically, you wanna use the keys if you got your uh, password, okay? So the first way here is uh, the soft reset here. What you simply wanna do is just go into your settings, and then from your settings, what you wanna do is you wanna scroll all the way down to the very, very bottom where it says about phone. Tap on about phone, and then from here, you wanna go ahead and you wanna scroll down, and it says looking for something else, tap on reset. Tap on reset, and then right here it says factory data reset. Don't, don't forget you're gonna lose everything on the phone as if you just bought the phone brand new and started off with the um, setup process, okay? Anyways, from here, you can click on uh, factory data reset, and you can see all data will be erased from your phone, including all of this stuff here. Then simply tap on reset, put in your password and let it do its thing. It'll reboot, it'll factory reset, and then once your phone's back up and running, it's gonna start off with the setup process. You gotta choose your language and whatnot. Okay, now the second way is a hard reset, and let's just pretend, um, especially for those of you that actually forgot your password, okay? Because the thing is, technically what you have to do is shut your phone off, but some of you, you're not gonna be able to shut your phone off because when you try to shut your phone off, it'll ask you for your password, okay? Let me show that one second. But anyways, if you do know your password, and it didn't ask me for a password to shut off my phone, so my phone is completely off right now, and then using the hard keys, and I'll show you the way to bypass the password after this method here, okay? Anyways, so the, the phone is off. Now if I press volume up, or press and hold volume up, and the power button, press and hold at the same time, and hold, keep holding until I see the Samsung logo, and then let go, okay? So volume up, power button, ready, one, and my phone is off, okay? Volume up. Power button, ready, one, two, three. Press and hold at the same time. Wait till I see the Samsung logo appear. Then I can go ahead and let go. And this will boot us into the Android recovery menu. Give it one second here. Okay, so here's the uh, Android recovery menu here. And then we can use the volume rockers to go all the way down um, to wipe data slash factory reset and select it. You would simply press on the power button. Now, the thing is, let me just show you a way to get uh, get into this if you forgot your password. So let me just go ahead and reboot the system now. And let's wait for my phone to boot back up. Okay, so my phone is booted back up. I haven't logged in now, okay? So if I try to go ahead and turn my phone off to do the factory reset, press and hold the power button. And this time I press power off, power off. Now this time it's gonna ask me to input my password or my PIN to shut off my phone. But I mean, what happens if you forgot your pin. You, you can't shut it off, right? Well, I'm going to show you how to bypass this, okay? Very, very simple. So what we need to do now to get into the entry recovery menu, if you forgot your password or your uh, your pin, what we need to do is it's, um, it's a two-key combination. Uh, it's going to be the volume down and power button first. So you want to press and hold volume down, power button. You want to press and hold for about 10 seconds. After 10 seconds is up, Continue holding the power button, but let go of the volume down button and press and hold the volume up button and wait until you see the Samsung logo appear, then let go. Okay, so again, volume down, power button. Press and hold for 10 seconds and then let go of the volume down button while you're still holding down the power button and then press and hold the volume up button and wait till you see the Samsung logo. So let's go ahead and do this together, okay? So again, if I go ahead and try to power off my phone, I'm not able to. Let's say I forgot my password. It's asking me a password to shut down my phone. So we're going to bypass this right now. So the only thing you got to do, remember, volume down, power button. Ready? For 10 seconds. Ready? One, two, three. I'm going to hold it down for 10 seconds. As soon as the 10 seconds is up, I'm going to press uh, the volume up instead. Right now, let go. Now it's the volume up. And I'm still holding. I never took my phone uh, finger off my power button. I'm still holding. I'm Hopefully uh, that worked. If not, I'll have to give it one more try. Okay, I think I did it a little bit too fast. It's probably under 10 seconds. Let me see. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try it again. Ready? Volume down, power button. Ready, set, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Volume up. Now I'm holding the uh, volume up and power button now. Okay, Samsung logo, let go. And this should boot us up into the uh, recovery menu. I think I got it. Okay, we're in business. And then from here, you use your volume rockers to select what you want. We can go down to the um, wipe data slash factory reset. And then to select it, you press your power button. 
And then this menu here will pop up. Are you sure you want to do it? This cannot be undone. And then if you want to proceed, you go down to yes, and then you select the power button. I'm not going to do it. But anyways, once you select yes, and then it's going to go boot to the, um, the boot, uh, it's, it's, it's going to perform the factory reset. And then once your phone boots back up, it'll be at the beginning setup where it's going to ask you for your language and so on, okay? So that's pretty much how you do it. I'm going to go ahead and select no because I'm not going to factory reset this phone. So it's going to go back to reboot system now. Anyways, that should help you guys out. Any questions or anything, uh, just comment below, all right? Thanks for watching. Bye.